Um, and that, you know, some come, came and went, and, you know, uh, and, but this one kept sticking. The idea of doing something better, better way to edit. We weren't cluttered or, or burdened with any of, well, this is how you do it. We didn't know any of that. So we simply set about to do what made sense to do. On the customer end, I think that that means you have products that allow you to do your job and don't get in your way. So what we have today is a sophisticated, highly intuitive approach to completing your programs, any type of program that you want to do. It's a totally digital, random access, nonlinear editing system. And it's also a system that's designed to make editors feel at home. Uh, everything is done quickly and easily using either the keyboard, the mouse, or a trackball. And you never think about time code if you don't want to think about time code. You just work instinctively with the pictures and the soundtracks. So first your raw footage is digitized into the Avid system and that's a real-time process. Then you can edit and shape your project as you wish. However way you want to move things around, change things, you can do anything you need to do. Your output can be a standard edit decision list, a digital rough cut, or a complete auto assembly of your project and you're finished. Your project's picture and sound are digitized and stored together as files on optical or removable magnetic disk drives. More footage can be digitized and added to Avid's clip bins at any time to accommodate late arriving material. The clip bins are very familiar to film editors and what we've done is to create them as the basis for a very powerful visual database manager. So you can easily keep all your shots organized, indexed, categorized, and sorted in ways that are most useful to you for fast, easy access. You can preview clips at any time on Avid's convenient pop-up screens and you can also select the frame that best represents your clip's action. Now the second monitor is where your program or sequence assembly takes place. What we've provided are all the tools and features needed to do the job. There are two video display screens, a source or playback screen to view and mark clips, and a composing or record destination screen for creating your sequence. In between are the picture and audio track selectors, up to 24 tracks of audio and the splice and overwrite buttons. The actual editing process is effortless and intuitive. Watch. You begin by moving a clip from a bin over to the source screen. In the source screen, every frame is instantly accessible by sliding the location cursor along the position bar. You can also play the clip and select your desired mark in and mark out points, which are then displayed on the position bar. Possibilities and no longer are you uh, trying to think about why you don't want to try a change. It's now, why don't we try it? Just by clicking on the splice button, we've done our first edit. Now let's move another clip from the bin into the source screen. Here's our clip's previously marked in point and its out point. You can quickly screen the action from the in to the out point. But you didn't have to worry about late arriving material because the reality is everything gets here late. Now let's change our markout point to include the last part of his phrase. Yeah, <laughs> people never get all their material while they're on time. All we do is simply click on the splice button, and again, the clip instantly becomes part of our sequence here on the composing screen. Avid's timeline display also works just like the composing screen's position bar. Timeline is actually a detailed blueprint of the assembled sequence. It shows you at a glance the time code relationships of the image, soundtracks, and overlay graphics. If you like, waveforms of the soundtracks are also displayed for a more precise indication of the relationships of the picture, sound, and transitions. Timeline's head frame mode lets you view the first frame of each event, and you can relocate the frames to quickly reorder the clip events as well. You can also use Avid's timeline to move around freely within the sequence. Here, Let's use Timeline to position our sequence just before the splice. To view our new edit sequence from this point, simply click Play below the composing screen. While you're on time. The possibilities, and no longer are you... Uh... Avid also has a transition editor for making small timing adjustments anywhere in our sequence. Just position the arrow over a clip to add or remove frames on either side of the transition point or center the arrow between the clips to move the transition point itself. Frames are added or deleted by clicking the frame buttons. It's like having your clips trims invisibly attached all the time. The video, audio, select buttons indicate exactly which element tracks you're trimming in the transition. Never get all the material while you're on time. 
and no longer are you uh, trying. The Avid system is not limited only to cuts. You can arrange for any transition to be performed as a dissolve. Let's add a shot of Allen at work and look at it as a dissolve. A dialog box lets you easily set a duration and start point. And a true dissolve is created exactly as it will appear in your assembled program. It's now, why don't we try it? The system's flexibility also extends to audio control as well. Basic audio level and pan settings can be reset for each event in the program at any time. There are a variety of output options. Avid provides a clean, ready-to-run edit decision list in a number of commonly accepted list formats. You can also view or record your assembled program full screen in Avid's rough cut mode. Avid's high-quality JPEG image processing generates clear project approval tapes. You didn't have to worry about late arriving material because the reality is everything gets here late. You know? <laughs> People never get all their material while they're on time. And no longer are you uh, trying to think about why you don't want to try a change. It's now why don't we try it. The real strength of the Media Composer is that it's very easy to try different ideas. And using the duplicate command, you can make multiple versions of a sequence. So once you finish editing your first version, you can store it in a bin as a sequence. Then make changes to the duplicate, leaving the original version intact. Compare the two versions side by side. Decide which one is better for that particular project. Once you begin editing your project on the Avid, there's absolutely nothing standing in your way to slow you down. There are never any penalties for trying new ideas. If you don't like where a shot is, rearrange it, try it at the end of a sequence. If you think a shot is too long, take some frames off, put, it that, put them at the beginning of another shot. So when editing is this effortless and this intuitive, you get to enjoy your project from the same fresh perspective as your audience. You see Avid when you're demoing the product. And the prospect says, yeah, but when are you going to do the edit? And you say, no, no, the edit's already done. And he goes, no, no, what? The first time that people see the Avid system, they don't know what to think. Um, and they reach this point, which we call the click and believe moment, where they know that the edit's been done, and it's been done so quickly that they say, gee, I didn't know it would have been that simple. And then the smile starts. Um, that's when you get the first taste of Avid. When somebody buys one of our systems, they obviously get a lot of hardware. It comes in many boxes. Uh, they get a lot of software. It comes on many diskettes. But much more than that, they get a company that's committed to making it all work together in a transparent way so that you get to concentrate on one thing, really the most important thing, and that's being creative. We have people that do documentaries. They do music videos. They do commercials. They do episodic television. Uh, they do corporate industrial work. Uh, that told us that the industry was not monolithic. As a result, we needed to introduce new product lines and varying models to meet those needs. There's a set of needs for people that do need offline editing, uh, but they need more sophistication in the offline editing process. And they need better picture quality. And they need optical discs so they can interchange jobs really quickly. And they need, um, they need affordability so that they can buy the system easily. And they need upgradability so when their business grows, they can, they can add on. Uh, and for those people, we created the Avid 200 series. Our fully upgradable 200 series, the models 20, 30, and 40, are a series of affordable offline systems that offer more performance and features than any other system available today. EDLs, titles, graphics, and program auto assembly are all available to produce pictures superior to VHS from our new phase change optical discs. Our advanced power line, the 2000 series, models 300 and 500, are high-performance, full-resolution media composers that use removable hard drive systems to provide the highest quality, full-resolution video available. Model 500 also features Media Mix, which lets you mix up to 24 tracks of Pro Audio and Media Match, which allows you to easily match back your finished program to its original film negative. Now, the 2000 series introduces all digital editing into the online world. And the 2000 embodied something that people didn't think was possible. And that is a full resolution, 
nonlinear system that can store hours of footage, can handle full CD quality sound, in fact, 48 kilohertz pro audio sound with digital in and out. And the Avid 2000 is really the beginning of the new digital world. Everyone's been realizing that digital is the wave of the future. And now the Avid 2000 is that first product. It's the one that delivers full resolution, full quality sound, and when you're done, you're done. Where is Avid going? When we started back in 87, Bill pushed us out onto the cutting edge of so many new things. Some of the technology wasn't even available back then. So his goals were far greater than what many people thought was possible. And we weren't always sure, were we headed for the mountaintop or over a cliff? Today we're definitely headed for the mountaintop. There are hundreds of Avid systems out there now, and they're involved in all kinds of projects. And it's really gratifying now to see how whole new working patterns are emerging, specifically designed to take full advantage of the new power that Avid's delivering.